in that the port lowers the port lowers okay then first choose the route okay then calculate the best path okay and the same path is not the best path so this path should be blocked okay then each port on the switch got the lowest got the lowest first the designated port the designated port from this port is go far away from the route okay to leave the route okay on the route switch i think all port is leave the route so all port should be a designated port and on the non route switch also this route this port are leaving go far away from the route so it's a designated port okay and the port that is the best path go to the route will be the root port okay the signated port and the root port okay for example this switch also this is the root port from this root this port can go to the root okay and uh, this port is the root port from this port the the frame should go to the root okay and uh, others the interface that is blocked the link is blocked there is an alternative port alternative port this port is blocked not sending data of course on this link another side is the designated port okay also the designated port and the alternative port which port should be blocked also decided by the path calculation from this path is better or from this path is better the better path should be the designated port and the, the worst port the cost and the, is worse then this port should be blocked okay alternative port this is the port lower okay and uh, another the port id the port id uh, as we know in the bbdu there are four parameters the last one is the port id okay the root id the rpc root path cost and then the bridge id and then the port id what is the port id used for used to calculate also used to calculate the best path for example in this scenario this is a switch a and this is a switch b and then between switch a and switch b there are two links okay two links so if these two link are all in the forwarding state then there is a loop okay there is a loop so one link must be blocked okay then this is the loot okay so these two interface are all designated port and then in this two link this two interface should block the one interface then which interface should be blocked so first the pass the cost to the root because this two link is uh, parallel that means this two link is equal are all gigabit interface or are all fast in it, fast ethernet so this two link have the same cost to the root so cannot judge who is the best then which should be used the port id this switch sending bpdu on this interface on this interface then contain the port id these two ports must be different okay the smaller one the smaller one will be win okay this for example this interface one is this interface two then the one wins so the two this interface should be blocked okay this is the how to use the port id and uh, of course uh, the port id also contain two parts one is the priority value and uh, one is the port port number for example port zero zero one and then the default may be priority value is this value and then if you not change the priority value just decided by the port number 
Of course, if you want to change, you can change the priority value of the interface, okay? This is the port ID. Port ID is used to decide the based link, based path, if the cost is the same, okay? And then the timers. As we know, uh, in a BPDU, the last four, last four fields are timers, okay? And uh, also, as we know, the BPDU negotiated with the switches. There is interval. This interval is a BPDU interval. Uh, by default, it's two seconds. Of course, you can change it, okay? This is a two seconds. And then, the maximum age and the message age. The message age means each switch received the packet, received the BPDU, and then process, and then sending out. So, need time. Uh, of course, this time cannot calculate accurately. So, we just one hop of the switch, just one second. Okay, assign one second. That means the first the route sending out this the message age is message age is zero and then after one switch then the message age becomes one and then if we go to another switch then message age becomes two okay this is the message age and another is the maximum age maximum age the maximum age is the 20 that means if the bpdu forwarding the 20 switch then this BPDU will be deleted, we are not forwarding. Of course, uh, such a big BPD, such a big switch network is not recommended. Usually we recommended a network, the diameter of the switch network is seven. Okay, uh, the far away switch between this, for example, this, this network, this is the diameter is the is a is a four okay and uh, is a three and uh, the recommended is seven not more than seven okay and uh, uh, the maximum age just when BPDU is sending out to the switch then this message age is two then if after that time this switch not sending the BPDU out again, then the time passed. After 18 seconds, then two plus ending, plus 18, this is 20. So this message have reached the maximum age, so this BPDU will be deleted. This BPDU deleted means this switch now have no other BPDU, so this switch should be recalculate the STP, okay, as the initial calculation, okay. This is the maximum age, call the maximum age. And another, another timer, another timer not appear here. There's a forward delay, the forward delay. What's the meaning of the forward delay? As we know, when the switch is to calculate which is the best path, and the same link should be blocked, need a time, okay? The BPDU sending out the two seconds. In the worst time, the two switches will negotiate after two seconds. For example, in this, the router bridge sending out the message. In worst time, in most conditions, this message sending to the, this switch should need four seconds, okay? Need four seconds. So, the calculation of the best pass need times. Then how many times we need to wait? Yeah, the IEEE assigned a value, 15 seconds, okay? The switch should wait in 15 seconds to forwarding data. This timer we call the forwarding delay. Forwarding delay, okay? Forwarding delay. Uh, this is the four timers, four timers, the BPDU interval, the forwarding delay, and the message age, and the maximum age, four timers, okay?
in that the whole process. Uh, first, the switch should select the root, okay, in the switch network. The switch first is powered on, and then they will negotiate each other with the BBDU, and then compare the BRD each other, and then choose who is the smallest value, and then we can see. And if C, then 41, this 16, 41, and then this 16. This is a smaller value, okay? After this exchange, and then switch A becoming the root, okay? This is the how the root bridge is selected. After the root bridge is selected, then all the switches will calculate itself, go to the root switch, the path. The root path cost. Okay, for the switch B, there are two paths from this path and from this path. And then the, after the calculation, this path should be the best. So this port is the root port. Of course, for the root switch, this port is a designated port, and this port is a designated port. And the same is the switch C. Okay, they calculated this is the best path. So this is the root port. And then after that, the two switches, switch B and switch C, will exchange each other. Then there is a root pass cost, root pass cost. And the root pass cost is the same. Then what we are compared? Compare the third field in the, in the parameters, the bridge ID, okay, bridge ID. Bridge ID, this is the bridge ID of switch B, and this is the bridge ID of switch C. And then switch B, this value is smaller. The previous is are all the before this value are all same. And then this value, switch B is small. So switch B wins. So switch B is at the designated port. And then switch C, this port should be blocked. This is the alternative port. Okay. This is the uh, port lower selection process. Of course, uh, if we, in such scenario, for example, switch C connected to another switch, switch D, then we can see the bridge root bridge is still the same, and then the pass cost also the same, and then these two switches, these two interfaces sending out the BBDU, the bridge ID are both switch C's bridge ID. So the bridge ID is also the same. Then how do the switch D choose the base pass? Use the port ID, okay? Use the port ID. In this scenario, use the port ID, okay? And then the port state transition. That's a we have discussed. The calculation of the STP need time, need time. So, when the switch is calculating which port should be forwarding data, which port should be blocked, in this time, you cannot forwarding data, okay? You must hold, must hold, okay? Hold on. How many times should be hold? Yeah, this is the state transition in finite, finite state machine, okay? First, this is the start point, disabled. That means the interface, the switch interface is down, okay? And then the interface is up, go to the blocking. And uh, this is the first state, but this state will uh, change to other states immediately. Then go to the listening state, go to listening state. The listening state, the switch on this interface, we are sending and receiving the BPDU and uh, calculating the Based pass. And in this state, we are stay for 15 seconds. Okay, default 15 seconds. This is the forwarding delay. Okay. In this time, the switch calculates which is the best pass to the root. Okay. Then maybe in this time, this time is enough to calculate. But I try think maybe something will happen, something error will happen. That's this. 15 seconds may be not enough. So the IEEE is adding another 15 seconds. That's the learning state. 
learning state. Learning state. In the learning state, just wait. Wait for the network, all the switch network to converge. Okay. And uh, in this in this time, in this state, also no data packet will be forwarding. But if the PC, if the connected host sending the data to the switch, the switch will learn the source MAC address, put the source MAC address into the MAC address table, will accept then drop, not forwarding. Okay, this is the learning state. After the another 15 seconds, then go to the forwarding state. In the forwarding state, the switch just work correctly, okay? Just working and uh, sending data, forwarding the data between different interfaces and so on, okay? And uh, in each state, if there is something happened, for example, the link is, uh, is, is, is pulled out, then the interface is down. Then if any state interface is down, then get into the disable state. Okay. If any state the sensing error happened, then we are also maybe we'll go to that interface is not done. Then we'll go to back to the broken state. Okay. In the broken state, not forwarding forwarding package. Also, not sending out BPDU. Okay. But accept the BPDU. Okay. This is a port state transition. Okay. This is a whole information that's how STP is calculated.